Growing up, P.J. Sparks was known as the son of former NFL player Felipe Sparks and then the brother of American Idol Jordan Sparks. But P.J. came into his own being a student athlete having just finished a great senior season at Arizona Christian. P.J.'s road has taken many unexpected turns and his story begins just out of high school at Mountain Ridge in Glendale. My biggest thing that I wanted to accomplish was making sure that I got a Division I scholarship. And uh, so I signed with the University of North Dakota straight out of high school. While at North Dakota, he learned that he and his longtime girlfriend and fiance Jessica were expecting a baby. Ava was born in October of 2013. He's all about family. He loves just to walk in the door and bend down and pick up Ava. And we love taking videos with her. And he loves being a dad. It's been amazing to watch him because he went through a lot and I feel like as you're growing up and you know you don't have the responsibilities of you know being married or having kids you know you feel like it's the end of the world whenever something happens and Ava came in and it was like all of that stuff you know didn't matter. He's the best dad in the world. He cooks, he cleans, I mean he's an all-around dad. Just a wonderful, wonderful father. He is amazing. I, watching him with his little girl is just, I could just sit there and watch all day. It's like watching a movie. Sparks' time with North Dakota hadn't gone as planned and going into his third season, a coaching change occurred. He sat me down and he said, uh, you know, I'll honor your scholarship, but you're not gonna play here, you're not good enough. You know, for somebody to feel like they're not qualified for the job, something that they've been working for for so long, it really hurts. But the only way that I would ever play football again is if I could play in front of my family, play in Arizona, and play for a four-year university. My grandfather calls me and he's like, hey, you need to call this coach at Arizona Christian. They're starting a football program. And I was like, no, nah, he's, he's lying to me. That, this can't be real. He joined ACU's program for their inaugural season in 2014. It was a great situation, but still meant wearing more hats than your typical student athlete. When you have all the time in the world, you could just push it back to later, or you can say that you could push it back to later. Being a father, husband, football player, student athlete, you don't have time to slip up. And if you do, you know, you're always trying to play catch up. So for me, I just really try to stay ahead. PJ has always been mature at a very young age. He knows there are sacrifices that you have to, to overcome and you have to keep going up. Just because you bump a hurdle and you fall, that doesn't mean you, don't, you just stay down there and not finish the race how he handles and how he wants to always take on more. It's just, I don't know how he does it. College football may be done, but his lessons on and off the field have set him up for success going forward. I say all the time that I want to be like him when I grow up, where it should be the other way around when your, your sibling is younger and wants to be like you. He just makes everybody feel at ease. He's come a long way and he's finally becoming his own. He's not, oh, you're, Jordan's little brother, or, oh, you're Felipe Sparks' son. He's always been titled other than, oh, you're PJ Sparks. To see him where he is right now is just a blessing. I, I There were times I didn't know if PJ was gonna make it through the night, you know, years ago. And, um, you know, people don't really know that part of the story. You know, I, I just seeing him now where he's at with, it's been just life changing. It's like when we try to lean on our own understanding, nothing works. When we try to do it on our own timing, it's not going to work. And it took me all the way until I got to Arizona Christian to realize that because, I mean, I didn't know what God was doing at that moment, um, but now I understand what I had to go through to appreciate being able to play football, being able to be a husband, and being able to be a father. That's such a big joy to be able to come home and then see both my girls, you know, to say hi, you know, and give me and be able to give them hugs and kisses. And it's something that I'm really proud of.